Hello everyone, welcome to my channel ASP.NET Core and today uh, we are discussing about real-time example of uh, action filter. So here we have a, a type filter and the type of time range action filter. So that that is the class actually existing in the folder that is the time range action filter. So in the in the filters uh, folder, so here we have a filters folder and here we have a time range action filter class. So you can just add in on the index action method you can see that the type filter type of time range action filter and inside in the time range action filter we have uh, that is the class and inherited with the i action filter in the i action filter we have only two method uh, that is uh, implemented one is own action executing and the second one is own action executed okay so uh, just i'm uh, going to do in a uh, own action executing mm, there is nothing in the own action executed you can see because just i want to say uh, in the home controller just i want to add a type filter that is a type of i uh, time range action filter okay so i'm going to when we hit uh, index action method of the home controller that first that is the time Okay, the start time and the end time. So in the in own action executing that is executed, and you can see that in the action executing context, here we have a context class. Action executing context, here we have a context class. In the context, we have a HTTP context, and in the HTTP context, we have get services. And in the services, we just got get services, and what type of services that is I time. Uh, range repository so just initialize that i time range repository in the program.cs file so here we have a i time range repository like that okay so here we have you can say that i time range repository is what say so go to implementation and in the i time uh, repository we have only you can say that here we have a iTime repository. Here we have only one single method that return the boolean type. Okay, is current time range. And in the time repository that is implemented here, so in the is time, uh, is current time in range that is the start time and end time. Start time is seven zero zero, and the end time it twenty uh, first fifty eight zero. I mean to say that uh, you can consider it that is the latest time. So 13, 14, 15, that is the 15. You can say 15 and 21. So the range between the, uh, that is the 321. So 15, 21 is there. So you can see that time spent, current time is what? Date time dot now dot time of the day. So that is the time of the day. But is range is uh, saying that current time is greater than or equal to the start time i mean to say that 7 uh, is a greater than condition becomes true but uh, current time is less than or equals to end time condition becomes true until 321 so the condition time is false so is range is going to false so in the false time range filter get written false when we call time range repository dot is current time in range that is the false so in the is current time is current time range that is written false so here we have a false that is true so the context dot result is redirect to action page that is another page and what is the another page and here we have another page in the home controller and here we have another page and just call that is a view on the view in the another page so here we have a home controller and another piece that is sorry like that so just when we click on the http uh, just run your project and you will see that you got a sorry message on the screen instead of uh, to run uh, the home page because the action filter actually executing first so you got sorry on the screen like that because just redirecting that page uh, sorry uh, that redirecting that page 
that is the index and first to executing that action filter that is i action filter time range action filter so here we have a time range and action filter like that so here we have a just inherited with the i action filter time range action filter executing first but if you want to change that is the home page will redirect so just change the time according to this like that uh, 23 it's oops 24 that is matched so just call it and run it and you will say the HTTP request is existing in that time so just go for the index exception method so you can just call repository in action method so and you will see oops that is not sorry current time is less than or equals to the end time 315 is 24 but uh, i i hope so it's uh, calculated the seconds so you just got 25 and oops 25 is again again sorry so 26 is there and return true is uh that is current time is greater than equal to that is true and that is true okay that's fine okay so thank you guys for watching this video and keep watching all other videos and you can just use action filter if you want to executing uh, any other methods before entering before hitting your action methods Thank you very much for watching.